putting together a dinosaur skeleton is like a jigsaw puzzle where the pieces have been turned over, some of the pieces have been thrown out of the box, and then some of the pieces you've got left over have been cut into little fragments and we've got to try and piece all those together. So this is a monumental challenge. One of the really fascinating things about backboned animals is that fundamentally they're all built pretty much the same way. Our arm, a salamander's arm, a dog's arm, a triceratops arm have pretty much the same number of bones in pretty much the same arrangement. We use a particular tool called comparative anatomy, which is a way to look at features in the skeletons of animals and try and make sense of what parts are similar and what are different. For most of the skeleton, there are kind of fundamental rules that we can follow to help us put them back together. There are other aspects of Triceratops that are unique to it that are still debated in the scientific community. How close together should its shoulder bones be? What tilts should its pelvis be on? And our challenge is to find the best evidence of the current thinking and try to make that happen in our fossils so it represents the most up-to-date, the most cutting-edge articulation of Triceratops. One tool that we have at our disposal is certain kinds of computational technology. In particular, the breakthrough application of 3D capture, so scanning of the surfaces of bones and then the manipulation of those 3D digital models, the sculpting of the bones in a computer. So much of what we do is about comparing. And so by making our fossil available to other researchers, they can give you really helpful, meaningful feedback. Normally they would only be able to do from photographs. Triceratops is known from relatively few, nearly complete fossil skeletons. And that sort of Rosetta Stone type fossil, if you will, is what's really needed to start to make sense of where every bone actually goes. The specimen that Museums Victoria has acquired shows the way for almost all other Triceratops around the world.